Hello, I'm Dragos and in this video we're going to take a look at Augment code and how it's working with the Sonnet 4. So a couple of days, like in May 22, Sonnet 4 has been released, also Opus model has been released, and Augment code, it's an uh, extension for Visual Studio code that can help you code with AI for free. So this is their post and in here you see that uh, they're claiming that the Sonnet 4 is uh, way better than uh, the previous model in their plugin. So we're going to go and uh, test and see how it's doing and uh, if Augment Code can help us create a website from scratch easily. So first of all, for pricing, you see that you have like a free option. Again, you will have like uh, 50 calls, the same that you have for free in Z. So previously I've created like a website, Astro website for free with Z. Of course, you can upgrade to other model or the other option is to go and pay for their uh, uh, calls if you get over the limit of that. And previously, if you are going to, to check, uh, I've created with Z and their agent, this website, a solar panel website that is looking uh, nice. And this used about two or three prompts from their 50. So it managed to create something very beautiful in here that it has some nice effects. And I am quite happy with what um, Z with Cloud Sonnet 4 managed to do. And you can here see that you have various pages and um, yeah, you have a very nice structure. I will let the link into the description if you want to check that video out also that it's free and it can be used for free so you see that you have like a full website that has been created in i don't know 20 minutes with just prompting i want to do the same thing with uh, with uh, augment code and see how it's doing and i'm going to use astro for this so if you don't know astro it's a web framework that can help you build the static or dynamic websites it's very easily to set up and it can be hosted for free in many locations i have a lot of tutorials on my uh, channels about this so yeah i mean this is the previous uh, website and you can follow the video if you want to see but right now we're going to focus on augment code and in here I have already Augment Code installed. And what I have did, I've created a blank project with Astro installed and Tailwind CSS configure. So if we're going to run npm run dev, we're going to see that. Let me go and put this. And what I am going to do, I will open this with 22. And yeah, basically this is the starter thing that Astro is offering. So um, yeah, it's like the default small thing. And uh, yeah, right now I will just go and copy the prompt from here. So this is the prompt that I have asked Z to do. I've also tested this with try. It wasn't uh, that good as the Z ID it's uh, it's offering so in here i have the latest version of augment code installed and you see that it managed to index everything and basically this is their interface and in here you see that you have their pictogram and yeah i will just go and choose the details so this is actually the project this is the options to choose the chat agent agent auto i will choose the agent auto to have like not been asked every time to create something and in here you see that uh, I'm now using Cloud Sonnet 4. So yeah, I will just paste the prompt in here. So the prompt is uh, uh, just the default one. I have an Astro website with basic things and tailing for set, set up that you don't need to install. I want to go and create a website for a server panel company that has a menu footer, hero service section, testimonial projects, call to action about page, services page, contact page, add a readme about project, use component and make it look more than with animations, create SVGs for assets like services and other things like icons and logos and function and nights looking, that's a component for pages and websites. So yeah, I mean, this is the only thing that I've requested Z to do and he managed to do it uh, very well. And let's go and see. So right now, let me close this, okay. Uh, augment code, it's starting reading the details and it reads all the configurations. 
I'm curious to see how it will work and how my many credits we're gonna use for this because in Z we use like uh, only a few. So right now it's creating the plan. So this one is very fast layouts, SEO of the layout. Okay, reusable components, header, footer, hero, services, a similar project, call to action button. So it's very good. Assets with I icon, logo SVG, pages. Okay, solar panel energy. Okay, pages about service contact, read me. Okay, and right now it's starting creating the file. And in here you see that you will have the files that has been uh, modified and in here you can see the diffs with what has been done. So this is working very fast. I'm curious to see if uh, it will look, uh, I don't know, uh, similar with the one that we've uh, seen in, in Z. Again, um, these tools can be used for free so you can uh, test them yourself and see how it's uh, doing and if it's uh, I don't know it fits a good start and it's a good fit for a project. Okay, and in here we have the responses and I've also started the usage for this. Okay, let me see. So yeah, the usage, I want to see how many calls. So right now we have only one that has been made, which is normal. And let's go and open the Visual Studio Code, okay. Hero component. These are the files that have been modified, created. Okay, I have a lot of plugins installed in here because I am testing with most of them. I like testing uh, most of them to see which one it's doing the, the best. And Augment Code was one of the best ones. The idea is that uh, I prefer this uh, plugins as IDs because I uh, want to tell them the exact project that I want to work in. And yeah, in here you see that this is the interface prop title description. Okay, this was the layout SEO component with meta and everything. Contact the header that it created for us. Okay, so this thing it's very fast, so we're like a couple of minutes in and uh, already have to f uh, eight files that have been created. Okay, let's see. Now it's adding the projects. So you see that you have like uh, about 1000 lines of code that were already created. And yeah, the interface is quite nice of augment code. Okay, nine files, call to action component. Hey, I mean, I am curious to test all of this. So uh, yeah, I am implementing them on my blog because I have my blog that is built also with Astro. I've created a blog team with it. And yeah, I have like a directory with nice tools. And yeah, I'm always curious to see how the LLMs and IDs are working with Astro. Cloud4, it has data till January. Okay. It had an error. Okay, so right now, you don't see the error, but we're going to wait for this to finish. Again, Augment Code, it's the fastest one, I think, from all that I've tested so far. You see that you have like uh, 11 files created in under 10 minutes. Probably we're going to create this project faster than the one that we did with Z. For try, I've tried this to do with try, which is free, but yeah, I mean, I don't like the fact that they are uh, queuing your requests a lot. The prompts are not that good in try. It's creating something that it's basing and is not that good. And uh, I mean, it still uses Cloud4. So I guess the prompts that are in uh, try are not the best ones. 
but again you can use it for free that's the good part also this one can be used for free so you have the 50 requests that can be made monthly so you can uh, go and try it let's see okay you don't have the usage in here what else these are the chats so right now it's creating the services the about the contact page and i guess it should finish these are the files so if we're going to check the footer it will be a big one hero section okay yeah let's go so 17 files have been modified okay contact page good okay global css to include the inter font family so i didn't ask him to um, use any colors or uh, use any font you can also do that but i want to see uh, how he's able to do it by himself what he's suggesting so that's why i didn't provide him like a color or font to to be used i just told him the pages and components that i am interested on okay readme so right now i guess it's on the last uh, task to create the readme content let's open the readme if it is in here not yet because i'm curious to see so you see that we've created about 2100 lines of code fast it's not a lot okay readme readme file and yeah readme has been modified that was the default one that uh, you had with astro when you spin our project and in here you see that you have a nice layout you have the details how we can run the project okay the colors if you want to to change them typography component the pages so the readme file is quite good and quite com complete and right now he opened the project for us directly which is a good thing so right now you have this so it created a nice logo for us it chose green this time which is very good because it's, this is uh, renewable energy and you have like a hero in here in here we should have something that is not actually that good okay so the hero it looks quite nice again you have the same arrow that goes down okay solar solutions this looks good and you have some nice effects in here ready to go solar okay we're going to see our recent projects again it did a similar thing that we did with z you see in here that projects are looking quite similar okay the call to action in here we have the testimonials okay okay start with solar today so yeah i mean this is looking quite nice and similar with the one that we've created with the z1 let me see where it is that one okay two 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 three let me open the two one so yeah you see in here that it's quite similar this one it has i think a lot more details it's, it's a lot more complete than the other one but yeah i mean i think it did a pretty good job on this one let's go into the about yeah it looks good it's clean and nice services okay yeah it's it looks decent process so it's similar with what we have seen in z but it's not that complicated the contact form it looks quite similar if you ask me get a free code same let's see if this it's working so this it's working again if we're going to compare it with this in about 
you have more details and this is looks much better in um, Z. So I guess the prompt in Z is better or it's more complete. And yeah, it looks nice. Also the previous project is the contact. It's similar to what we've seen right now. This one, it has more elements. The footer is quite similar. You see the footer right here. And you have the footer also in here. So it's similar. So yeah, I mean, the design is nice and uh, very good for, I don't know, five minutes on prompting. And if we're going to check the usage, I'm just curious to see. Okay, view usage in here. And yeah, you see that uh, you managed to create this with only one uh, one uh, prompt. So you can create another 49 websites if you want with this, or you can ask it to, I don't know, to modify something in here. And uh, you see that. Let's go and close this. Let's open the project summary. So SEO footer components with hero section testimonials, homepage about page services page. So it followed in detail what I have uh, provided him. If we're going to open the files in here, for instance, styles in here, you have the animations, you have the font. And yeah, I mean, it's looking uh, very, very good. And augment code can be used uh, for free, so you can start working with it. You just need to download it. It works also on Windows on everything. So yeah, I mean, Augment Code looks like a strong uh, solution from my point of view. If you're thinking the fact that it is able to index large code bases, it adds even a, a plus. So yeah, I mean, uh, if you want to try it, you can go and test it yourself. Thanks for watching and uh, See you in the next video.